So with this week's update, we have a whole bunch of changes to healer companions. There are of course a few companions thrown in that are just getting some damage adjustments. We'll cover those as well. Now they've touched on nearly all of the healer companions here. Some of them not even listed in their patch notes. They're stating that they're giving roughly a 50 to 100% healing increase for many of them. They hope that they become in a place where they are viable alternatives to let's say a DPS only companion. Make it so that they're actually worthy to use in let's say solo questing or support in a dungeon to help give you a little bit of a back up heal. It's not intended that they would replace a healer by no means at all. So I have all of the companions right here and I've tested them out. Well actually I don't have all of them. I miss two of them. In particular the Dragonborn Grillmaster who's gonna come from the Summer Festival. I never bothered to get him last time. He didn't seem like much and also the Fire Blossom Cobalt which was the Summer Festival before that. I haven't done the Summer Festival in a good few years. So I have neither of those. I cannot test them. Let me know if they're performing a lot better than let's say the other ones. So with these testings, we first get their heal numbers, how well they can actually heal and then their damage increases since some of them have been adjusted so that both their healing and damage has been increased. This time around, I'm just gonna throw all the data at you at once. Rather than go through each of them individually, there's like 14, 15 of them. Here's the spreadsheet of the changes. So here's the summoner heal per second, HPS. So this is how much they'll heal you as the summoner. You can have a look at the alchemist. He used to only heal you for 2,800. Now he'll heal you for over 12,000. That's a pretty decent improvement. And he'll also heal the party for that much as well because his powers can target allies, not just the summoner versus let's say we go and sort this so we'll sort it by summoner heal per second and we end up with the angel of protection at the top now this is inclusive of all the healer companions that i have tested again that's without the stronghold cleric and without the fire blossom zealot as i have neither there is a link to my document below where you can access this page where you get these different tabs of all my companion tests and one of them here is for the healing companions so this is all the old data i still have to update the live spreadsheet that you guys can access but this is the new data so the summoner heal per second would be best with the angel of protection or the fawn there's also a another fawn but all the fawns have the same abilities so regardless if it's like the fawn of shiali or the snowy fawn they'll have the same abilities and yeah he's gonna heal you a ton as the summoner you can see the angel of protection has zero party heals so not ideal if you're trying to just keep your entire party healed instead of just yourself the fawn though does have decent heals for the party and you can see that then over sorting it via the party heal per second you can see these ones are the best and again at the top is the fawn followed by linu lanarel the apprentice healer celeste and the dedicated squire you can see the dedicated squire got a bit of a nerf from like 17.8 thousand to 16.7 thousand yeah a slight reduction and that was stated in the patch notes just here where they've moved some healing from smite to cleansing touch and they say the total healing should remain roughly the same and i guess this is within the range of roughly when you look at only maybe a thousand there but yeah that's all of the changes right there across the heals you can see back to the summoner heal per second lulu got a massive increase from only healing 2.5 thousand to now 21.7 thousand but that's she's only going to heal the summoner again no heals for the party so you're far better off with the angel of protection and on top of that the angel of protection you can buy just here with your ardent favor these ardent coins you see down here you can buy the Angel of Protection Companion, or I guess you can also buy her off the auction house for 150,000 Astral Diamonds. People are gonna have played the prices on these a lot. You can see already most of these only have four days being active on the auction house. 
That is because they would have messed around with the prices as soon as they saw these patch notes come out. Uh, what was it? Yesterday. And yeah, I would totally say Angel of Protection right now going to be the best healer companion you can use just to keep yourself healed. Because on top of just healing you, she's going to protect you. She's going to give you 3% defense along with all your other allies and also having the ward ability, which can be pretty clutch in a time when you're taking a lot of damage. It's just sometimes it can proc when it's not really needed and then it's a bit of a waste and it has a 60 second cooldown. But back to the chart again. Again, these are all the changes. Some Summoner heal per second, we go back to party heal per second, and let's talk about the fawn. The fawn is a little problematic because a bit like the warlock healer, its heals are mainly within an area. In order for it to heal party members, you have to stand within this little well by this tree, this little bush. It's quite cool. But it's even smaller than a warlock heals areas, and the warlock already struggles. So in any content where you have to move around a lot, this companion not gonna heal for much. Even if he can, she can heal you a lot as the summoner, she is going to put the well on the summoner. So if you're a tank and don't have to move, that'll be fine. But if you're running the latest trial, you go into phase four and six where you really need the heals, you're just be rotating to the next beholder and it won't be healing you much at all. So you would be far better off with the Angel of Protection, it's just gonna heal you regardless where you're positioned. She can heal you after you take a bit of damage for like 150k. We were getting on the chart here up to 160k. But again, back to healing your allies, you can see it's followed by Linu Lanarel, which is pretty good. Her heals quite a decent area. She has the ability of Moonlight Mystery, healing everybody within 25 feet. And then also Lunar Light, again, healing everybody within 25 feet. And otherwise you can get the very cheap Apprentice Healer, who just has the ability of your Sunburst, just lets out yeah, a burst which is going to damage foes around and also heal you. And then he has some specific heals just for the summoner as well. And and this guy is dirt cheap. You can get him in the Adventures Guild section just up here in this store right there for two gold. And his heals are not going to change if you just have him on grey. You don't have to upgrade your companions for them to become more effective. And so I will go and update this spreadsheet right here with the new values of their healing. Again, this is sorted based on the party healing. This is sorted on the summoner healing. The top three there is the angel, the fawn, the apprentice healer. And for healing your party, it's the fawn, Linu, apprentice healer, followed by like Celeste and the dedicated squire there, reasonably close. But now we just need to check out some of the damage changes they made, as not all of these companions that were changed are actually healers, like the Astro Diva. And well, here's the data for that. This is again listed alphabetically. You can see the different changes. This is the single target DPS, and this is what it was, and this is what it is now. You can see some massive improvements there with the Alchemist from 8.6 thousand to 31 thousand, and the same with Lulu, gone from 6 thousand to 37 thousand. That's really good. Just sorting them there based on their single target damage. You can see out of these ones here, along with the healer companions, what their damage was and what it is now, and which ones are the best out of that but again you can check my document and in single target damage companions the top one is like the blaspheme assassin it has the potential to do that much in terms of burst damage it's not as good as that but then you're followed by like the paranoid illusion for the ranger honey badger tomb spider green scale bowman these companions all got that over like 40,000 dps is what you want to be going for and lulu's not too bad 37,000. the rest of them are kind of meh but again, that's the change in the damage values. I've still got to go and update this chart with those adjustments. But lastly, there's one thing to note with the particular the Diva Champion. I have said how he was really powerful in my initial patch notes video, and that is not wrong. He's really strong now. He has the ability to give everybody a shield with sheltering light. The shield is equal to 10% of your maximum hit points. So regardless of your stats or anything, it's always going to be 10% of the big number you have here. And on top of that, that shield actually stacks with any other existing shields you have. You can see this is the shield I just put on myself. We go in combat here. 
don't get any damage and you can see the shield gets increased with the companion and to make it even more broken it stacks with itself so you could have a trial group everybody running this guy that's 10 percent times 10 that's 100 percent everybody will have double their hit points but it's not that bad because you do got to be within 25 feet so it'll depend on the content again if you're all spread out not gonna work that ideally but yeah can be really broken i want to check this out in a trial mess around on preview and actually see people with uh yeah 100 percent shields without a paladin healer i mean you could run like one paladin healer and then a whole bunch of these there's no harm in that because they will actually stack with the paladin healer shields which is a bit busted don't think it was ever intended for it to actually stack like that with itself and it will totally get fixed don't go counting on it not getting fixed and spending like four million or ridiculous amount of astral diamonds just to get this to mess around i mean get it and mess around the preview server but don't get it on live and expect it to not get fixed sooner than late. But it does have now the ability to reduce the enemy's critical severity by 5%. That's pretty much just, he's able to maintain that very easily just by attacking. Just hits with his strike there and there you go. He's got the smiting blows, reducing the enemy's critical severity. And he can refresh it within like 3 seconds again. So that's pretty solid. That reduces the enemy's damage on their critical hits, meaning they'll be less likely to one-shot you. So it's some nice added mitigation. But ultimately, that is all of the changes, all of them tested. Again, the healer companions right here with then their damage adjustments. So special thank you again to all these channel members for their added support. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.